This conference will now be recorded. OK, so uh, we'll be starting our next topic that is uh, serial numbers. OK, so the topics that we are going to cover there. We will see how to work with serial numbers. Purpose of creation of serial numbers. Stop check. What is stop check? We will see. Then creation of serial numbers. How to create the serial numbers in the system. Then how to uh, configure the serial numbers profile. So these are the topics we will be covering in the serial numbers. Okay. So what is serial number basically? Assigning a serial number to a piece of equipment enables the equipment to be managed from an inventory management perspective. So that means what happens is in your company, let's say you have similar kind of equipment located at different different places. Okay, but the equipment number is different, but at the same time, you want to assign a serial number to that equipment. Okay, then if that is the case, then you have to use this serial number management functionality. Suppose uh, take an example. Uh, we have iPhones. All are similar iPhones only, but every iPhone will be assigned with a unique serial number. So same thing here. We have the equipments. It's a similar kind of equipment is here, located in different places. To identify them, along with our equipment number, you will have a serial number. Okay. Enter a material that uh, that already has serial number profile. For the serialization of individual pieces of equipment in the equipment master, this I will show it in the system. Okay, how to assign the serial number profile? Okay, to the equipment or to the uh, to the uh, serialization process, I will show you. So when you assign a serial number in the equipment master record, the equipment is linked with a material and serial. So basically, we have equipment master. This already we covered. When you assign this serial number to the equipment, automatically this equipment will be linked with the material. Okay, so basically here you have a unique combination. Here you have a unique combination. You have equipment from our PM site. Okay, every machine. Then you have a material. You have a material. Material. And then you have a unique serial number. So this will be the combination. So today we already created equipments. Today we will create the material of the equipment and along with that we will create serial numbers. Okay. So material coupled with the equipment with the material in the construction type field of the equipment. So in the equipment master, you have a field called construction type. There is a field called construction type. I will show you in a minute. This construction type is nothing but material code, material code of the equipment. Okay. So serialization thus enables inventory management of pieces of equipment. So basically, uh, to, to uh, manage the inventory of the equipment, you need to assign the serial numbers. Okay. To assign the serial number to equipment, you should have material code with inventory management. Okay. So this is the one. If you see here, Let's say in my company, I have four gearboxes. Four gearboxes located in different places. So stock is four pieces. Okay. Now, for these four gearboxes, you will assign a unique serial number. And apart from that, you will have our from our PM site a unique equipment. So here there will be a material number, material number, serial number, and equipment. Equipment number is from our PM site. Serial number is from inventory management side and material number is to identify. Okay, so this is the combination. Okay, so now to to manage the equipment as a in the serial numbers, you should have serial number profile. This serial number profile should be assigned in the material master record of that particular equipment. Okay, so prerequisites prerequisites you need to create those equipments as as material in the system okay so now let's go to the system and let's create material so let me log into the system okay this is a s4 hana system of 1909 version okay see sap s4 hana 1909 version so i'll enter my user id 
okay password director okay suppose i'll go to the structure we already created functional location structure which we created in the previous classes this is the one we created okay i'll select the check boxes it's good so if i click on expandable the day we created a structure and you have a gear box here suppose let's say in your company there are some other gear boxes located at different places now i want to assign a unique serial number to these gear boxes so first you need to create this gear box as a meeting so this is a equipment number see the moment i move the cursor this is a equipment number so now to manage it from inventory management perspective and to have the serial numbers first you need to create this gear box as a material okay so let me create as a material the t code is mf0 so this material creation is a responsibility of mm team mm team will create this we will not be creating in the real time don't worry just see how i am creating the material they will select industry sector automotive i'll select material type i'll select spare part arsa okay as of now i'm selecting arsa spare part now click on the select views okay i'll select some views purchasing mrp views okay i'll select general plan data storage one to view and accounting these are the views i'm selecting continue okay we are using the plant 1710 for our for our training purpose continue okay so it will assign a material number okay i'll create gear box for generator d for generator generator so i'm creating gear box as a material okay this is a material group. enter the base unit of measure material group don't worry about this this will be created by mm team we will not create in the real time they will not allow you to create also if even if you want to create okay let me select some do we have others let me assign a material group i'll assign a material group but it doesn't matter much okay i'll assign some material group enter the basic data too nothing is mandatory okay that's okay here uh, that's okay mrp1 mrp type nd controller okay the length of the lot size okay scheduling margin key it is a purchased material right equipment type f okay availability check okay done plan data storage one view now let me go to plan data storage two you go here and here you see there is a field called serial number profile you see there is a field here serial number profile here you need to assign the serial number profile so we are here so in the material master in the material master record in the general plan data storage to view you need to assign the serial number profile also you can assign this in sales views but this is a machine we purchase it so let's assign in this view so in this view i am assigning the serial number profile okay in the general plan data storage to view so this view is general plan data storage to view. this is the view. so here you will assign a serial number profile let me assign let me assign uh, this one let me assign this uh, yb let me assign this ybp one okay enter we we i'll we will go to this uh, configuration of the serial number profile in a minute okay now we are into accounting view valuation class is there uh, valuation class is there let me uh, put some price let's say price is 1000 usd i enter the price it's okay let me put it as a standard price now huh? instead of moving average price let's put standard price okay accounting to now save it so now material is created so this material is code is from inventory management perspective okay so material is there now take the material change now let's create the equipment now we will create the equipments with this material code with serial numbers so t code is iq01 iq01 this is the t code create material and serial number. okay enter the material code 
assign the serial number let's i'll start with 100 category m our equipment category m machine we discussed this already now enter okay now if you observe carefully here we have only two tabs warranty and partner and serialization data okay so now enter the stock type okay plant our plant is 1710 and just enter okay that's okay we entered the plant company code has come so now here i want to create equipment also but here if you see there are no tabs the tabs which we use to create equipment right the tabs are not there. so what you have to do you have to have to have the tabs you need to click on this button activate equipment view. click on that button the moment you click on that button you see all our tabs has come correct is it correct uh, mahesh mahesh is it okay this is, these are the tabs mahesh okay so go to general now you enter your data object type gearbox gearbox am i audible uh, mahesh mahesh am i audible mahesh mahesh yes sir. yes uh, yes yeah. we can hear you uh, okay uh, so now enter the object type authorization group this all we discussed in our uh, equipment class okay enter the manufacturer shanti gears and you enter all the remaining data as per your convenience okay i'll enter only the important data okay done go to location plant is 1710 you can enter other information go to organization cost center planner group work center we all we, we discussed all these things in our equipment class enter enter okay only the thing here is if you observe carefully you have two one extra tab extra tab here serialization data tab okay now go to structure uh, now the most important thing here is in the structure tab you see there is a field called construction type and you see in the construction type the material code is automatically populated the material code which we entered on the initial screen that is automatically populated into the construction type field in the equipment this is the interview question in the interviews they will ask this question what is the construction type of equipment it is nothing but its material code this is the interview question okay now this new gearbox i will install at a different place so in our structure let me install at this place this one 150 ton cnc sharing machine i'll install at this place take that functional location here click on this button we discussed already all these things how to install a how to install a equipment at a functional location okay enter that functional location continue okay this is a material code go to warranty and partner activate the warranty details that's okay you can enter the partner details also done okay now if you go to serialization data tab you see the moment i save it will create a equipment okay it will create a equipment i'm saving it so now we are creating equipment with serial number now see it so now equipment gets created in the background so now if you go to your structure refresh the screen now you see there is a new equipment created this is a equipment number and if you expand further you see this is a material code the moment i move the cursor to that it says it's a material this is a equipment code and it is a material code material code is nothing but construction type you see the moment i move the cursor to there it should it's it shows construction type okay so now let us create one more i'll create one more same again go to iq01 now this time i will enter the serial number 1002 okay same thing stock type plant 1710 enter done click on activate equipment view now enter all the remaining data object type authorization group startup date okay you can enter all the remaining information manufacturer shanti gates okay go to location go to organization here let us enter the cost center now planner group work center then go to structure again you see the construction type automatically got populated material code is Construction type automatically populated. 
Now this gearbox, I'll put it in another place. I'll install it at a different location. I'll put it here. Horizontal milling machine. Take this. Okay. Here. By clicking on click on this button and then put that functional location. Done. Status change it to INST installed. Go to warranty and partner. You can enter the remaining information as we discussed in the equipment class. Done. Now go to serial tab. Here you see. The, when I save, the equipment gets created and it will be assigned with the serial number. Now save it. Done. One more equipment will be created in the background. Okay, so now if you go to our structure, refresh the screen, expand it. See, one more equipment created. Equipment number is 342. And if you again click on that, again if you expand, you see this is a material code, construction type. Material code is same. Material code is same, but equipment numbers are different. And in that, you can see the their serial number. Okay, and you can see this directly from here. Now go back. Here you select. You have to select expand construction type, right? Now again, execute. Click on expand. See this is the. Okay, so this is how you create the what you call what you call equipments with serial number so when you create equipment with serial number in the equipment master there is a tab called serialization data tab okay in that you can see its material code and you can see its serial number okay now i will show you this in the system so here if you go now let us go to ie03 let us go to ie03 if you go to ie03 this is